Vlog Moo! On today's episode, we have a Shebrew Triple IPA. Pre triple IP. We might have had a few drinks before this. On today's episode. You might have had a few drinks before this. On today's no, episode. Get out of here! Don't you fucking dare. Hebrews and Shebrews. <laughs> no. No. Shebrew Triple IPA. Uh, made by Schmaltz Brewing Company. <laughs> so I was right. All right, they did it to themselves. I was right. This ain't our first rodeo. Actually, it's our second. I don't know what that means. Is this our second beer? Is it because it's a double IPA? No, it's a triple IPA. That doesn't make sense. A triple IPA, ladies and gentlemen. The rare triple IPA. Uh, huh. Uh, benefiting the Pink Boots Society... And Girls Inc. of the Greater Capital Region. It's 11-11. Aligning my chakras. It is 11%. Alcohol by volume. I'm it's 11-11-11. Align your goddamn chakra! <laughs> and it is 11-0 IBUs. That's 110. <laughs> Look at how fucking aligned I am. I don't I'm know so what you're doing. I don't aligned. know what that means. If I was like, oh, I'm askew. No, I'm aligned. I don't know. Oh, I'm askew. No, I'm aligned. I don't know what's I happening I am right so now. fucking aligned. Is it 11-12 yet? This is in the way still. We, we didn't just do this. <laughs> that was a different day. 11-12. 11-12. Let me now look up what I was looking up. Hmm. I'm going to open the Shebrew. What are you looking up? Uh, very, very, very malty smelling. It smells good. <laughs> it does smell pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's I, it smells like it's gonna taste good. Oh yeah, it does. I want to drink this IPA so bad. I, How? Jesus I Christ! IPAs. They're so fucking good. <laughs> they're so fucking good. This you looks like so amber. Much. This looks like amber from Jurassic Park. Starring Academy Award winner Richard Attenborough. Fuck. The brother of David Attenborough. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. If this were taking place in virtual reality, laser beams would have <laughs> shot. Not laser beams, I'm so sorry. Beams of light would have shot. From my eyes. No, that's literally what a laser beam From is. my <laughs> palms. <laughs> From then, my ears, my mouth. <gasps> and my body eventually puncture wounds, pulsing, light shining forth <sighs> until my body was taken. Exhumed right. <clears throat> So, I think what he's trying to say is that it's pretty good. Uh, schmaltz, <laughs> you got something going on there. The, the balance of the sweetness to the bitterness is almost perfect. It's as close to perfect as you can, as you can say get. Say in the comments, who am I? Uh, I have no, they can't even see half your body in the fucking video, come on. Which half? The Which top half? half is missing. Fuck. <laughs> Who am I? Uh, a ninja turtle? I don't know. You don't win the prize. There is a prize. There is a prize. Uh, you mind. don't want the prize. <laughs> you definitely don't want the prize. Oh, sure. the, the, the alcohol comes in too. A little bit later, it's super delayed, but then all of a sudden you realize, oh my god, that is 11%. But you don't taste <laughs> it up front. <laughs> Bitch! You feel it. You feel it. You've it's been at 89%. For, like, 12 minutes at least. You're already drunk. You can't... No, it warms no. you up. It warms you up. Like a, like drinking a liquor does. Do you want to know what this is? Do you I'm want to you. Sure. Cheer. Cheer. Jimmy. This is... Talking about... Like drinking a biscuit. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. No. Think about eating a biscuit. A nice one. <laughs> I honestly am not a fan of biscuits. He has a food channel, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Unless it's covered <laughs> in sausage gravy. Okay, okay. Let me think of something else for you then. What do you think about Cinnabons? Okay, okay. Imagine... 
Biting into... That's a much better uh, comparison. Except for this doesn't taste like cinnamon, but imagine... No, but it's that decadent. Imagine the, mm. the feeling of eating a Cinnabon. And now pretend that that's a drink. Here's what this <laughs> is. You know the movie Ratatouille? It's perfect love! You know it, the, you know the movie Ratatouille? At the end where the, the, the old jaded restaurant critic is like, Fuck, oh what, they made me Ratatouille? This peasant dish? Bunch of... Jerks. And he knows it's made by rats. And then he eats it, and then it transports him back to his childhood and basically is like the rep like the embodiment of his love for his own mother. Uh that's what this tastes like. Look at me. I am doing what we in the film actors guild never do because we're You're not in the film actors guild. We are filmed. Fags. You're barely in the Writers Guild. The Film Actors Guild. That's not a real thing. <laughs> Screen Actors Guild. Is that yes. what it's called? This is a... You ruined my dream American actors. I'm glad I did. I hate you. Fuck you and your <laughs> terrible jokes. Whatever the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> tasting like mom. This <laughs> I know! This doesn't... No. No, it this wasn't about a taste. It was about a feeling. <laughs> feeling like mom. No! <laughs> Mom, it's like a mother's <laughs> love. It's like Malk, like in that Ernest movie. <laughs> First of all, that was not that Ernest movie. That was one of the most famous and successful Ernest movies ever. <laughs> Ernest scared stupid. Second of all, in Ernest scared stupid, it was not Malk. It was Miak. <laughs> At least that's what Ernest thought it was until they revealed it was milk. <laughs> I remember Ernest went to the store. Obviously, I don't. <laughs> and he found a bunch of Miak and he filled like a super soaker with it or something. And he was like, <laughs> he like was like, Miak got Miak now. This tastes like if you put the perfect like IPA with the perfect because there are some dark beers yes. that I don't mind which it's are more coffee based balance but it's, it's like the, balance. the perfect IPA with the perfect dark beer that's what this is it's the balance it's it's the perfect everything it tastes so good this is Joseph Gordon Levitt balancing between the World Trade Center <laughs> on the high wire okay. with oh. a terrible French accent Oh, no, that's, that's the visual, th that is the visual, the visual is this, the accent, my friends, <laughs> is Volsteiner. Yeah, yes. That is the accent that <laughs> Joseph Gordon-Levitt, you bitch, I, I follow you on Twitter. <laughs> and I have, I've submitted things. You bitch. How dare you with that French accent. If you love, uh... Doubles and triples and Ooh. Imperial IPAs, you gotta try this. It's slightly on the sweet side, but all the other flavors make up for it. Fantastic. If, if, if we're actually giving ratings on this show, maybe we do give ratings on this show and I just forgot. Oh, I, wow. I would easily give this beer a 9.5. Out of what? 10. I give this like... Um, this is for me a 10 out of 10. No. That's a 10. Ooh. Yeah, that's true. It's about as close to a 10 as I will ever get. It's like, so good. It's, it's very good. I want to freeze it in the winter and go skating on it, and then melt it in the summer and drink it. While you swim in it. <laughs> <laughs> it is fantastic. Try it out yourself. Let us know what you think. This has been Vlog Moo. Vlog Moo. Thank you for watching, and uh, that's about it. L'chaim. Oh, God. <laughs>